up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. Thank you guys so very freaking much for tuning in on this beautiful freaking Monday. Why is it a beautiful Monday if you know it's Monday? Well, Italy won the European Soccer Championship, so that is very freaking awesome. And that is why today we're having a party. But before we get into the deck, if you're new to the channel or just a regular tuning in and hasn't subscribed yet, now's your chance. Push that little subscription button down there. I would appreciate it very much. You're becoming part of the Malone family. We're on our way to 3,400, which is so freaking crazy to me. Thank you guys so very freaking much. Also, there's now a membership or a Patreon button down below. Whatever you want to check out. That would be very awesome. But uh, yeah, just subscribing to the channel is very helpful already. So thank you guys so very freaking much for tuning in. And yeah, enough with the yammering. Let's get into the party. Hammering. So the idea from the, for this deck is by Will Urker. So shout out to that guy. Very freaking awesome deck. And it's a 20-22Q deck. So, we won't encounter any Orient, we won't encounter any Rogues or Mono Red, maybe some Mono Red Goblins, some people are trying that out, but I don't think it will be very strong, because there is a lot of cards missing for a very powerful Mono Red deck right now. So yeah, if you want to have some fun with a new meta, here it is, Malone's New Meta Monday. What a name, what a freaking name. So. What is this deck? Well, it's a party deck, and it is a fun party deck. As one drops, we have one Elf Rogue, the Jaspara Sentinel. Just a rogue that can produce mana very freaking good. Then we have the Archpriest of Iona, the first creature that profits from the party mechanic. So, its power is equal to the number of creatures in your party. So that means if he's all alone, just a cleric, he's a 1-2. But as soon as you have a rogue, warrior or wizard down, he's a 2-2. Two -two, and so on, 3-2 and a 4-2. So. And as soon as you have a full party, so let's say you have the Archpriest of Yon out and three other creatures that are from different types, he will become a 4-2, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, you have a full party, so he, one creature of your choice will get plus one, plus one, and flying until end of turn, so that is very good. So if you attack in with the Archpriest and have a full party, it will become a 5-3, attacking through the air, so freaking sweet. And that is why we have the Jaspara Sentinel, because it's a rogue, a one-drop rogue, very freaking nice. Then we have the Tajuru Paragon. This card is so good in this deck. So either you can kick it and play it for a 5. And if you do, it enters the battlefield kicked, you reveal the top 6 card of your library and you can choose one creature, uh, one creature of those cards that shares a creature type with the Tajuru Paragon. But the Tajuru Paragon is 5 creature types. It is an elf, a cleric, a rogue, a warrior and a wizard. So you will 1 bajillion percent have one creature to choose off unless you're not hitting anything for the six cards, which would be Malone playing a Benoda deck. So yeah, that is what can happen, but it shouldn't. And the rest comes on the bottom of your library in a random order. But yeah, that is all right. So, and if you don't, if you played for two, you still have a three, two. That is all creature types that you need for your party. So let's say turn one, Archpriest of Iona, turn two, Tajuru Paragon. Now you have a two, two. That can attack in, very sweet, and you have a 3-2 as a freaking blocker. This one we keep for later. So, there we have the Nimble Trap Finder, a very nice card. It can't be blocked if you had either a Cleric, Rogue, Warrior or Wizard enter the battlefield under your control. That means whenever, whatever creature we play comes into the, uh, into the battlefield, onto the battlefield, it can be blocked, because all of our creatures are one of those four types. And if you have a full party, at the beginning of combat on your turn, whenever one of your creatures deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card. And that is so freaking sweet. So, then we have the Limbala, Shield of the Seagate. One of my favorite creatures of all freaking time. It is a 3-3 for flying for 3 mana. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party, you can choose a target, non-land permanent and opponent controls. And until end of turn, it can't attack or block or its activated abilities can't be activated. I'm sorry, until your next turn. So if they have this stupid book out... They can't even use it anymore, and that is so freaking nice. So, also you can sacrifice the Limbala, and all your creatures will get either Hexproof or Indestructible, and that is also very nice, and she is a wizard, so that is very freaking good. So let's say, you have a Dispara Sentinel on the field, an Archpriest of Iona, and the Juru Paragorn. Now you play the Limbala, you have a full party, her party mechanic will trigger, the Archpriest party mechanic will trigger, very freaking sweet. And then in turn 4, you play your squad commander, and holy smokes, if you have a full party, this creature is a beast, a freaking beast. You get 4-1-1 core warrior creature tokens, well, you get one for each creature in a party. So if this 
hits the battlefield all alone, you get one because you have one warrior. If you have two party creatures, two, and so on. But if you have all four, let's say you have an Archpriest, a Tajuru, the Limvala, and now you drop the uh, Squad Commander, you have all four party creatures rocking the party. You get four of those core warriors, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, this will trigger, this will trigger, and this will trigger, and this one says, at beginning of, your, of uh, combat on your turn, all your creatures get plus one, plus zero, oh, and indestructible until end of turn, and that is just so freaking good. So have fun, swing it in, for a lot of damage, the Archpriest of, Archpriest of Iona will be a 5-3 with flying for itself. It will get plus 1, so it will be a 6-3 with flying, indestructible, through the air. This one will be a 4-3 flying in the air. This one will be a 4-3, fly, not flying, but still indestructible. And you still have 4 blockers for later. And if they can't do anything against it, next turn you one bajillion percent win. Because Limbala makes one creature un, uh, unable to block. So that is very freaking good. Then we have the Tazri. This card is very freaking good. It costs one less for each creature in your party. So, you might be able to play this for one white. One white for a 4-6, that is insane. That is freaking insane. Also, you might pay all four colors but white. So, blue, black, red and green. Look at the top six cards of your library and reveal up to two party creatures. Or allies. We don't have allies, but still. And the rest... And put them in your hand, the rest comes on the bottom of your library. So that is very freaking good. And if you don't have the colors, you can still pay two for each color you're missing. So that is very freaking good. You will fill your hand very nicely and find whatever you need to win the game if you can do it. You can do this even end of your opponent's turn. So keep up the mana, do it end of turn. Very freaking nice. Then we have two more cards that profit from the uh, party mechanic. That is Concerted Defense. You can ta counter a target non-creature spell unless its controller pays one, plus an additional one for each party creature you own. So that means if you uh, have all four, they have to pay five. Five mana to play this non-creature spell. We don't care about creatures. We have way to get rid of creatures by just running over them. But yeah, a Planeswalker or a Boyd Wipe could be very annoying. So with the Concert Defense, you can get rid of it. The uh, new Ranger class card, get rid of it with the Concert Defense. Very freaking fun. And we have the Spoils of War, which in the best case, you play for two mana, a white and a blue. It costs one less to cast for each creature in your party. So in the best case, you have two mana, gain three life, draw three cards. Very, very freaking sweet. So good. And even if you played for a 3 or for 4, it is still a very good card to have because it fills up your hand, it gives you life. What else do you want? You can do it in your opponent's turn. I freaking love this card in here. So, there's two more cards that we absolutely have to talk about. And that is the Masked Vandal and the Beers of Lityara. The Masked Vandal is each creature type. So that means no matter what you're missing, it will be that creature type. So, uh, yeah. Let's say you uh, need one more creature for your, all of your party mechanics. The Mass Vandal is here for you. And uh, if you play it, you can exile one of your creatures from your graveyard and uh, exile target artifact or enchantment an opponent controls. So if they have one of the new class cards out, you can now get rid of it. If they have a Dragon Orb out, you can now get rid of it. If they have any kind of enchantment or uh, artifact creature, you can now get rid of it. This can even get rid of artifact lands, whatever. Just get freaking rid of it. It is so good. Also, being each creature type, if they have like a dragon board wipe, like this draconic intervention, they don't care. They're also dragons. So very, very freaking good. And the power word kill can't kill them because they're angels, dragons, demons, and devils was the last one. So yeah, can't do anything to those mass vandals. And that is so freaking good. And as I said, it is each creature type, so you can find it with the Tajuru, and you can find it with the Tazri, and it triggers all of your party mechanics. Then we have the Birds of Litiara, and this card is also so freaking nice in here. It makes you a shapeshifter, a 2-2 shapeshifter, so you have one more party creature. And if you have your Archpriest out, the Bast Vandal, and then you play the Bears of Litiara, it will now be a 3-2. If the turn afterwards you have a Squad Commander, that is so good. Because the turn afterwards, all of your shapeshifters will become 4-4s. Four forever not until end of turn forever so this will become a 4-4 and the little shapeshifter you're making will become a 4-4 and then you hit the squad commander they will attack in for five this one will get flying so it is very freaking good and in the third mode 
You choose up to one target creature or planeswalker, and each creature with power 4 greater you control deals damage to that permanent. So that means that if your opponent has like a gold span dragon out, you can shoot it down. If they have a Prismari Galaset out, you can shoot it down, attack in with all of your creatures. It is so good, because you will also have the four creatures from the squad commander. So freaking good. Bye bye, my friend. So, then we have one of the new lands in here, the Temple of the Dragon Queen. Let's get this over here, because you, so you can see it. So, as the Temple of the Dragon Queen enters the battlefield, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand. And if you do, you can, uh, or if you control a dragon, then it enters the battlefield untapped. If, so, let me, let me restart. As it enters the battlefield, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand. And it enters the battlefield tapped unless you reveal the dragon or you control the dragon. So with your Masked Vandal and your Pierce of Lidyara, you have dragons, as I already said, and that is very good. Then you can choose whatever color and it will be that color. So if you need a white, you choose white. If you need a blue, you choose blue. And these Masked Vandals and the Pierce of Lidyara will make sure that it doesn't come in tapped. If you have it on your hand and no Masked Vandal, maybe think about mulliganing if you have no other lands. So this is the deck. It is very freaking fun. Trust me, if you want to play yourself into Mythic, get uh, in the 2022 queue, play this deck, it is very freaking good. Landwise, we have 4 Hengegate Pathway, we have 1 Bright Climb Grim Climb Pathway to trigger the Tazri, we have uh, 2 Clear Water Merc Water Pathway to trigger the Tazri, we have uh, 3 Crack Crown Timber Crown Pathways to have a red for the Tazri, then we have the Needle Verge Pillar Verge Pathway, we have 4 Boulder Love, Branch Love Pathway and 4 Bar Channel, Tide Channel Pathway. So the colors we need the most are of course blue, green and white. So make sure that you have those colors on the field for all of your creatures. And as I said, it is a very fun deck. If you want to rush into Mythic into 2022 Q, this is the deck for you. It is super fun, super strong and it is a freaking party deck. So another shout out to Will Erker, yes that's the name. Thank you very much building, uh, for bringing the idea to the table. I'm very freaking grateful. You should follow the guy on Twitch. I'm Matches Malone and I will see you in those party games. Alrighty, Meta Monday morning. Mmm, mmm, it's a new play queue, it's a new day, it's a new meta. Nothing but dragons and mono green, but I think we have a pretty nice deck. We're up against monster. It's a battle of the top 1400-500. Alrighty. We are going first. Really like it. We don't have any blue though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I should mulligan here. This is way better. This is way freaking better. So. We're getting rid of uh, the beer, sadly. Because all the other stuff we can play. Sooner or later. So, putting down this one, maybe we even find a white source. And even if we don't, we can play... Okay, we're up against dragons. It's exactly what I said. Exactly what I said. Dragons and mono green. That is the 2022 meta. And they're shooting our just power a sentinel immediately. That was a smart choice, to be honest. A smart freaking choice. So. What did we make us here? A white. Yes, we will make ourselves a blue here. Put down it to Juru. I mean, why not? It is pretty big and strong. They have another frostbite, don't they? Oh my lord! When the game starts like this, it feels so bad. So freaking... Oh, it's an Into the Royal. Well, it is not a frostbite. It is not a frostbite. Expressive iteration. Hopefully they don't find any mana here. That is my only hope. But boy! When the game starts like this, mmm, doesn't feel too good, to be honest. Does not feel too good. Alright, the side coming, okay. I don't get this decision, but uh, okay. So, putting down the Tajuru, and we're putting down the Priest. So, now we have two creatures on the board. Let's just hope they don't have, like, a Cinder Clasm would be very freaking annoying. Very, very annoying. But we will have the Linvala next turn, so that is very good. Very freaking good. We have the Concerted Defense also, so I think we're putting down the Masked Vandal here. Because if they do have something, we can use the Concerted Defense. We didn't find any land, which is very annoying. Yeah, we're using the Concerted Defense here. 
Not letting that one happen. We're getting in here for some damage, which is very nice. Nice. Thanks. Thanks. So. I really hope they, uh... They don't have something to be freaking annoying. They have a gold span dragon. Alright. That is kind of annoying. And they're using it to attack in. That is very peculiar. Very freaking peculiar. So, we're using the Limbala here. Now we have all the things we need. We're tapping down the gold span dragon. We're giving this one plus and flying. Alrighty. Getting in there for 11. So, all of our creatures are now indestructible thanks to the Limbala. If they take an extra turn, it would be very good for them. But uh, yeah, this is until your next turn. They are taking an extra turn. Alrighty. Alrighty. We can still block down everything they own, so that is still A-OK -okay to me. Unless, of course, they have yet another one. Oh, they have another gold span dragon. Okay. Are they attacking in, though? They are attacking in. That means they do have... Oh, they just surrendered. Okay. Well, it started off annoyingly. It ended weirdly. But this is the meta that you can put your two cents on. It will happen. Mono green and dragon. So, yeah. Mm-mm. Alrighty, we're up against Kinney. We're, uh, we will slowly but surely get there. I'm pretty sure of it. We're going first, and I kind of like this hand. Even though it might look dangerous, but I really kind of like this hand. So... We're putting this one down as a white, because we need white. And when we have a green or a blue, maybe we even draw a card here. Oh, I think we're up against... Oh, it is... Uh, okay. So we do have a green here. That is very good. But we're putting this one down as a blue. Alright. Oh my lord. What have I done? What have I done? I... Uh, that wasn't too smart. I got to admit. It wasn't too smart. Alrighty. Alrighty. So whoever said I was smart, whoever said I was smart, alright. So that was uh, not the smartest decision of my life. I really hope we can find a mana here. Okay, they're going on strong with all this equipment. Going on strong with all the equipment in the world. Alright, we found a blue source. Not exactly what we needed, but hey, but hey. So we're putting it down as a blue, putting it down as a blue. We only have one green. Yeah, we do only have one green. So, we're putting this one down for now. And uh, attacking in for three. I mean, it's still three damage through the air. That is still A-OK -okay to me. Oh boy, that was such a misplay. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. Shouldn't have happened. The Myriad Construct. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. It still doesn't have flying, so hey. The Jaspara Sentinel. So I think I'm putting down the squad commander, because next turn we can have a full freaking party. So that is very nice. And uh, yeah, a full party is exactly what we want, so yeah. Alright, so for now it is looking A-OK. -okay. The portable hole. What are you getting rid of, though? What are you getting rid of? Alrighty. So. Yeah, there is not too much we can do about that. Not too much we can do about it. But maybe we even find another green source, and then we're super freaking happy. Oh my lord. This is so bad. This is so freaking bad. Are they attacking in, though? They are attacking in. Okay. Okay. Cheeky, cheeky, but maybe we find a green source here, which would be so freaking good. We did find a green source. Holy freaking smokes. Okay, okay. So, we do have everything we want here now. And we even have the manas to play the Spoils of War. So that is very freaking sweet. Very, very freaking sweet. So can we use this? No. Oh, they just surrendered. They knew we had the lethals on the board. Mm, top 1,000. Here we freaking go. Mm. Alrighty. So, we're up against Baneslayer88. Oh, doesn't look like people are in Mythic right now. So, here we are. 
having uh, to play against someone out of the diamond rank. Not fair for them, okay for me. So, we have a nice hand here. Thanks to the Bears of Lityara, we have a very nice hand here. And we will see what we're up against Mono Green. Okay. But it doesn't look like they had a turn one play. We drew a land, that is not even too bad. Because that means that we have two blue. Oh, it's a Lotus Cobra. Okay. Alrighty. So we're putting this one down as a blue, of course. And then next turn we have the Masked Vandal. We're attacking and if they block with the Lotus Cobra, I'm absolutely okay with that. Absolutely freaking lutely okay with that. So there will be a uh, Autumn Bird Chat trying to ramp into a uh, coma real freaking quick. Well, with the Spoils of Adventure, I'm pretty happy. So, they have four mana now. That is good for them. That is good. The Emergent Sequence, alright, that is also nothing to scoff at. Do they have something else to do here? Do they now? Maybe another emergent sequence? Divided by zero. Okay. That is fine with me. That is actually fine with me. We can... Uh, well, I will still put down the... Um, the beers of Lityara here. So we're putting down a white. We're putting down the beers. Getting ourselves a shapeshifter. Attacking in now. And then next turn we can put down the Jaspara Sentinel and draw ourselves some cards. So that is very good. And we have, will have two 4-4s. Four that is also very good. And uh, the Tajuru this time I might be keeping it for the kicker ability. We will see. I mean the kicker ability is pretty good. It is pretty freaking decent. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will get a land here. Which is annoying, but what you gonna do about it? And if they attack in, I will absolutely... Well, if they attack in with the Lotus Cobra, if they do attack in with the Lotus Cobra, I will freaking block the Lotus Cobra. But if they don't, we will still get our 4-4. Four four. So that is very good. Very freaking good. And the Divided by Zero can't take care of a, uh, of a token. So that is also very nice. So they are out of cards very soon. You can't play the land here. They have two mana open now. What can they do with two mana that would be annoying? Another emergent sequence, maybe? Maybe. Who knows? Oh! They're using this one right here. Well, that isn't too good, because I will make myself yet another one. So, yeah. They might have the coma in hand, though. If they have the coma in hand, that would be very annoying. But we will find out. Oh, this is also very good. This is also very good. So, we're using this one here because we do have dragons. So, let us get ourselves another... What is this? White? Okay, so we're getting ourselves another blue. We're putting down the Jaspara Sentinel. Oh, I should have done it differently. Should have done it differently. Once more, not the smartest. Not the smartest. We're attacking in still. Still getting in for some damage. Seems pretty good. I mean, if they draw themselves some cards here, it is fine with me. So I should have put this one down as a green and then use this one later. I was, uh, I was not thinking it through. It is Monday morning. What do you expect? Do you have the perfect brains? The teachings of the Archaics. Okay, getting themselves two cards. That's alright with me. We still will have some blue blues here. Okay. Uh, some 4-4s. Four so they're ramping really good here. They're ramping really freaking good. Okay, they got themselves a Masked Exhibition. And another Lotus Cobra. I see you. I see you. But we have now three 4-4s. Four and that is also very freaking good for us. Very freaking good for us. So we're putting down the Spara Sentinel. We're putting this one down. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good to have. It is pretty good to have. And we're putting down the Tajuru. I mean, we can draw cards later, so that is very good for us. So we're attacking in for 12. And then we can uh, get rid of some stuff of their board even. Well, we can get rid of something, of one thing. And that is very good for us. Very freaking good. So, they're looking at our stuff. I mean, we don't have a black, but we do have cards to play with. We have the Spoils of Adventure. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy. And with the Jaspara Sentinel, we can even make ourselves one more mana if we need it. So, Baneslayer. What you doing, my friend? What are you doing? 
We have all these new emojis. Maybe I should use one, but uh, I will wait. I will wait. I'm not going to throw anything out unless I know that I have one. So they could make uh, themselves the mascot here. Then it would have one, two, three, four, five creatures on the board, which is very good. Don't you get me wrong, but we're getting rid of one of those creatures, so yeah. And they are putting down the mascot exhibition. Very smart decision. Very, very smart decision. Alright. But they don't have anything else to do. So we're getting rid of this 4-4. It is pretty okay. It is not the best thing to do, but uh, it is okay. Then we're drawing ourselves some cards. The Linvala is pretty nice here. Pretty freaking nice. What are we missing? A white? Good. Okay. We can put this one down as a white. And now we have the Linvala. Now we can make one creature not blocking. Okay, this will be a... Uh... And a Surrender! Oh my lord! 3 the O! 3 the freaking O! With one of my favorite creatures of all time. We got there! We freaking got there! Mm, Linvala! Alright, we're 3 the O right now. That was a pretty cool deck, but uh, yeah. If you don't... Fi oh, we're up against number 243. I'm afraid already. I'm afraid already. All right, we're going second again. That is not Q game, not Q at all. So, this time we have to be very smart about our mana. And we're up against a dragon stack, I reckon. Or maybe some kind of control deck. Maybe. So we drew another land. Not good. I really hope, and we're up against a dragon stack. All righty. All freaking righty. We're putting this one down as a white, getting the Jaspara Sentinel on the field, attacking in here. I mean, why not? Next turn, we will put down the Beers of Lityara into Beers of Lityara into uh, Linvala. Beers of Lidvala. Okay, they might pack a counter spell here. They might have a. Um, the, uh, yeah. You know, the three mana? Shoot, choose two? The, uh, yeah. I forgot the name. You, we all know what I'm talking about. We all know what I'm talking about. And we will see. We will see if they do. Make themselves a treasure. Draw themselves two cards. Discard two cards. The Prismari command. Exactly. That was the one I was talking about. Alright. We drew another land. That is kind of annoying. Kind of. But we're still in it. We are still in it. So we have the bears now. Which is very good. They kind of have to take care of our bear here. Before they do anything else. And we will put down another Bears here, I think, before we put down the Limbala, because then when the Limbala comes down, she can be activated immediately. So this might be Goldspan Dragon. Yep, okay, here it is, the Goldspan Dragon. And they're attacking in, okay. So they might have a Frostbite, or something very freaking annoying still. We will find out, we will freaking find out. Oh, the Masked Vandal is pretty sweet here. They do have nothing, alright, alright. So, if I put down the Masked Vandal, I can still put down another Bears. So, I will do that. And get rid of their treasure. That is also nice. That is also very nice. Yes. Get rid of the treasure. Get rid of it! Get it out of here! I don't want to see it. So, we're putting down another green. And now we're tapping down the Masked Vandal. Making ourselves another awesome bear. So... Next turn, we will have the Linvala mana, and, uh, yeah, they need something very good here, like a Goldspan Dragon into extra turn, into extra turn, into extra turn, because we will get rid of that Goldspan Dragon now. And that is very good, one way or another. Alright, so they do have two Goldspan Dragons, that is very annoying, but we will get rid of one of them and tap the other one, so that is very good. And no matter what they kill here, we still have a full party, so that is very sweet. Very, very sweet. What are you doing, my friend? You can't take an extra turn here. This is only four mana. It is only four. And we will get rid of one gold span dragon and tap down the other with our Linvala. This is very good. Not gonna lie, it is very good. But those are dragons, so yeah. Those are freaking dragons. So that is very sweet. Very freaking sweet. Okay. So. We have the Linvala. And we have the Archpriest. So that is also very good. Gives us another attack in. 
So, do we... Oh, do we have enough? We do not. We do not have enough. Alright, we're tapping down the gold span dragon. We're giving this one plus five. Now we're attacking in. It is one man... One damage off. One freaking damage off. So, that... Uh, that one uh, board wipe here was very freaking good. But even if they take an extra turn, what are they going to do here? What are they going to do? So, we're... Shooting down the gold span dragon. Wow, we're for the all right now. There is absolutely nothing they can do. Oh, so good. So sublime. For the all. Mm, top 700. Here we go. Here we freaking go. All right. All right. All right. We're up against fighting game convention, Jesus. Going first. Did we go first one single game for now? I really like this hand. Even though it looks crazy, I really freaking like it. Because we have the Masked Vandal, so we can do some stuff. Alright, it is Goblins. Like to see that. What does this one do? Becomes, a uh, Blocked. Deals damage... One damage to target creature blocking it. Alrighty, interesting, interesting. We're putting down this one. And next turn we can have two more creatures. So that is very sweet. All right. Okay, flooding the board, I see. We're not blocking, we're taking one. We're putting down... Uh... Well, we can do it like this. Putting down a blue here. Submit, blue. All righty. And we're doing it like this. And doing it like this, because that way we have a blocker that can't block the goblin javelin here. So that is very good. Very freaking good. Alright, so what you putting down now? Nothing. Alright, love to see it. Freaking love to see it. So we have a blue here, we have a red here. Let's put down one white. Make ourselves a bear of Lityara. Very sweet. Very sweet. We're not attacking in yet. I don't want him to do something. Alright, other goblins get plus two, plus two. That is annoying. That is kind of annoying. But we can get rid of that later. So. We're taking one hit. We're taking one hit. We're making ourselves some big boys now with the mass vandal and this one. So that is still very, very good. Now we're drawing. I really don't like that we drew more land. But hey, what you gonna do about it? What you actually going to do about it? So, we are attacking in now. We need to do some damage. And, uh, yeah. We can still block if we need to. And we will. We will block here. This one. So this is still six damage coming our way. But we do have some blockers now, so that is very freaking nice. And we're getting rid of this sucker. So, yeah. Very good. Very, very good. So, this is full party mechanic. Getting activated. Getting in there for freaking lethal. Alrighty. Mm -mm -mm. Love to see it. Love to freaking see it. Alright. Top 600. Here we freaking go. Yes. Yes, I did. Mm. Alright, we have time for one last game. The game is doing its best to stop us by letting us go second every single game. We're up against Sleepy Joe. <laughs> Alright, Joe Biden is playing some magic. Love to see it. We're going first, just as I said it. Just the moment I said it. We don't have any white, so this hand is sadly very bad. This hand is better. I mean, we do have white, we do have green, we do have blue, but we really don't know how to play it here. I think... Uh Green and white is exactly what we need right now. Because we have some blue in this, so yeah. Let's get rid of the concerted defense. Alright. We're putting out a green here. We will see what we find. Maybe we find a white or a blue. But yeah, only two mana here is very bad. I hope we find some mana. Oh, we're up against a discard deck. We are up against a discard deck. Oh boy, this made everything very much different. Very different. So we're putting down a blue here because, uh, yeah, getting those beers of Lityara can be a huge freaking game changer. We will see what they have here. They might have some removal also for the Masked Vandal. But we will see. 
Do you humiliate? Yeah, that is bad. That is very bad. Very, very bad. They're getting rid of the bears, I think. I would get rid of the bears. Or they're getting rid of the paragon. Because maybe if we don't draw any mana, the paragon can't be played. Okay, they got rid of the bears. That was very freaking smart. So we're getting ourselves a white here, putting down the Linvala. Now we at least got that going for us. At least we got the Linvala now. And uh, we will have a full party very soon. All we need is one single mana. One single mana and we're good. Oh, the Skyglyph Apparition. That is annoying. Annoying as heck. Alright. Alrighty, my friend. You got us good. You got us real good. We're putting out a Tajuru here. It is very nice to have. And uh, yeah. Next turn we have the Masked Vandal. Then we have the Squad Commander. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. That is not good. But at least it's a very cool looking deck. So it's nothing that I've seen for now. It is nothing that I have seen for now. Alrighty. So we're putting down another green. We don't need any red to be honest. And we're putting down the squad commander. I mean he's squatting. So that is good. And we can not attack in with that. So how much more removal do you have though my friend? How much more? Why did I even ask? Why did I even freaking ask? Holy smokes! Why did they take the bears? Okay, well at least we got that going for us. So... At least we got the Limbala. Let us just hope they don't have another- Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Three gelatinous cubes in the first 13 cards? That is too much. That is too much. Just a little too much. Alright, we got the arch- Do we have a white? We do have a white. Alright. We're starting to get in for some damage. But that is too much. Like, come on. Come the freak on. So we're putting this one on this one. Keeping back our 1-3. That is alright. Holy freaking smokes. At least we know they don't have board wipes. Holy smoke. Like, seriously. What is wrong with this game? Sometimes. What is actually wrong with this game sometimes? I mean, look at what they have! Look at what they have! This is insane! And I was saying, yeah, the game can't uh, kill us by uh, making us go second every single game. But here you go! It makes us go first and they have a full house. A full house. Three gelatinous cubes, two skyclave apparitions. What the heck? What the heck? I really... What, what is next? What is next? What else do you have? Okay, okay. Well, that at least is not a... Uh, not the Bears of Lityara. Okay. Oh my lord, what is wrong with the Shuffler? What is actually wrong with the Shuffler? Like, these are the first 15 cards. The first 15 cards they drew. Three offs, two offs without end. Holy freaking smokes. We're still getting in there for 2 damage every single turn. It is at least something. We're keeping back this card just to make him think we have something. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I gotcha, Gabe. I gotcha. I freaking gotcha. Holy smokes. Holy frick. Like, this is unreal. This is actually unreal. Like, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? This is not how a shuffler should work in this game. Like, the first 16 cards. And they have 3 offs everything. 3 offs everything. 3 skyclave apparitions, 3 gelatinous cubes. What the heck? Like, actually, what the heck? Wow. Wow. Wow, I can't believe it. I can't freaking believe it. Yeah, we're super dead. Like, we had a nice run. But what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Okay, this is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. These are the first 43 cards. So, the first 17 cards. And they got three gelatinous cubes. Three silver skill silencer. Good game. We're, we're taking the hit. We're taking it here. 
There was nothing that could have won us the game. Nothing. Like nothing that could have won us the game. Wow. What the heck was that? What the heck was that? And it's shout out time. For Patreon members, thank you guys so very much. Yes, shout out time. Special thanks to each and every one of you who made it until the end of the video. But a special thanks, of course, as always, to all of my patrons and members, making sure that we can keep our very real lights on here on MTG Malone. So thank you guys so very freaking much. I really freaking appreciate that you're going the extra mile to support the channel with your hard and cash. So let's start by the Z or the Great Hearted with Randy Campbell, John, Chris Stevens, John Cooley, Automaton, Vince MH, and Vicky White. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so freaking much. A huge shout out also to our Gold Span Dragons, mm, Waffles, Randy AK Donald T, Floriano Scott, Jan Newman, Simster65, Anthony, Tim Clanny, and William Whitehead. You guys are real treasures. And a huge, huge freaking shout out to a big boy, Nico Bolas God Pharaohs. We have Earl, Chris Katowski, and Grandov. So very, very special thanks to each and every one of you on this list. You guys are awesome. If you want to check out the Patreon only membership, there's a button down below. So don't be afraid to check it out, see what perks I offer. And if you don't uh, have any hard earned cash to share, don't you worry about it. There's other ways to support the channel, like subscribing. It's free. You just have to push one little button. Maybe leave a comment under the video. So uh, yeah, people will have an easier time to find it. And oh man, what a party this was. But the last game was freaking insane. Like they had a three of everything. Everything. They had three of the cubes, three of the uh, Skyclef apparition. And in the end, they even had three of these uh, silver silencers, silver quill silencers. Insanity. What are you supposed to do in a situation like this? Nothing, I tell you. Or was it too? It doesn't even matter. But that was crazy. That was freaking crazy. Don't you tell me that the shuffler is fine today. I really don't want to hear it. So, but this is still the deck that got me into Mythic and we're still in the top 1000. So it is a very, very fun, very good deck. And if you want to check it out, you should have most of these cards if you're playing for a little bit longer. If you don't, maybe this isn't the deck for you. Maybe check out the Mono Green deck. But for now, this is one of my favorite decks and it is the perfect deck for the 2022 queue to present to you. So thank you guys very freaking much for tuning in on this uh, new Madam Malone Monday. I'm Max Malone and I will see you all tomorrow.